In this lesson, we'll cover working with views. So you may ask, what is a view? Well, think of a view as a camera looking at your 3D model. That camera or view could be focused on an elevation, a floor plan, ceiling plan, or a building section. For example, what I'm looking at right now. Now your views can have a variety of different controls. And I can see that on the very bottom of the Revit window. The one to 50, if you click on that, is the view scale. And this relates to what this would look like on your sheet. Next icon in is the level of detail. Coarse to fine. Fine showing the most detail. Coarse showing the least detail. Then you have graphic display. Looking at anything from a wireframe mode to hidden line to shaded to realistic colors. Then you could turn on a sun if you wanted to do a solar study. You can actually turn shadows on or off. And then we can crop a view or not crop a view. This view right now is cropped, and I can see the crop box represented by the rectangle around the actual view. You can visually turn off the crop box if you want by clicking the crop with the light bulb icon. That'll turn the crop box off or turn it back on. If you disable the crop, you actually see the entire building that this is zoomed in or cropped around. Re-enabling the crop will crop everything off but what's inside the rectangular crop box. If things are hidden temporarily, you can see what's hidden or you can temporarily hide things. And then you also can reveal elements that are hidden as well within the view. Now the property area on the left also shows information for the view. If you're not clicked on anything, any building element or component, the property area shows details for the view. Hence I see the building section view information in the properties. Scale is listed, model display, level of detail. You also have the ability to look at the visibility graphics overrides and the controls for everything within this view. Graphic display is here as well. You also have view groups of how it's being looked upon. In other words, is this view a structural view or is it a non-structural view? You also have your crop box at the very bottom where I can crop this or change the clip. Now below in the project browser, you actually have your views grouped based upon how the settings are set within the browser. Right now, the very top of the tree says views all and they're grouped by various, in this case, plans or layouts. So my structural plans are first, then the next subheading is 3D views, then elevations, sections, and so forth. You could change this too by right-clicking on the very top, in this case where it reads views all, then choosing browser organization, and you can actually change, again, how these are listed. For example, click type discipline and then click OK. This will regroup the views based on discipline and type. So here I have structural plans, and then I have my structural views under structural plans. Same thing with elevations, same thing with sections. If you had MEP or architectural views, those would be grouped in subheadings for MEP and architecture. You also can look at the view controls from the view tab on the ribbon. So if you click the view tab on the ribbon, you can see a lot of this information here as well. Now, if you change things within your view, you probably want to create a view template. View templates are on the view tab, and here's where you can apply a given template that's already defined, or you can make a new template. So you don't have to go through and change or modify settings every time you create a new view. So in this lesson, we looked at working with views. We looked at the different controls for the views, for changing the scale, level of detail, and shading or hidden lines. We also looked at cropping or not cropping your view or temporarily hiding things in the view. We looked at the properties of the view. We looked at how to group the views in the project browser and we looked at a quick overview of the view tab on the ribbon.